See, this is what gets me. Fridays, they're supposed to signify the end of the week, depending on your line of work. It could signify that you're off for the next two days. Why on God's green earth would you leave your job and act stupid when driving so that a disaster happens and then you have to spend your weekend resolving that? But even if nothing bad happens, like for example, a car wreck or something, you're stressing yourself out before the weekend even begins. Make that make sense. I would think that when it's Friday, it's like, okay, you get to like decompress a little, slow down, chill. Why can't you just chill? But instead, you gotta be coming up to the store with an attitude, drive with an attitude, talk to people with an attitude. Just, no, you got it all wrong. If you have a right turn coming up, why do you stay on the left lane for like two blocks, three blocks, whatever, to try to speed or compete with me, to get in front of me, to switch lanes when I have nobody behind me? Naturally, get behind the person who you are trying to avoid as an obstacle when you're switching lanes. Why are you obsessed with being in front of that person? I'm not the one who has to slow down to let you merge. It's you who's fucking up the flow of traffic trying to merge and switch lanes or whatever the fuck. It's you who has to yield to me. So you switch lanes behind cars, not in front of them. No, I'm not going to let you pass.
I remember it used to be cool for the bus to stop and me being in it and seeing traffic just seize because of the bus but now that I'm a driver fuck school buses that's why I'm stopped now in the middle of nowhere I guess it sucks when it happens to me <laughs> oh. crazy now that I see a school bus. I've been seeing them of course but one is directly in front of me. I can't help but think about how the thing that's circulating around and causing trouble for the past year, it disrupted school so bad that they were struggling to find bus drivers and stuff. School is one of those things that I wouldn't promote to do remotely only because not only are we still socially developing but you have to learn things on the field on a classroom setting with other people with books with computers but have a live instructor most of the things that I learned to be good at my job I learned from actual people and those people sharing their experiences. But to rely so much on computers, computer learning, remote learning and all that, it's taking away such a crucial part of how we develop and things. And just, it worries me so much that we keep promoting remote work and remote learning like it's super cool because you can avoid the commute and stuff. That's part of the process. If you ask me, I don't know if I've gotten around to bring this to the channel or discuss it, but when I say I'm taking a vacation, my vacation starts the moment I start packing. It's not, oh, um, I'm going on a vacation to another city or something, and when I get to the city, and let's say I'm going to the beach, when I sit by the shore, that's when my vacation starts like no to me the entire experience encompasses the vacation so for me getting my education the transportation to get there the schedule the planning buying my materials all of that that's part of learning but you're telling me that you want to avoid that and take that away and then when something happens and you need to start getting these things on your own, you freak out because you haven't had that experience. Am I the only one thinking about this or talking about this? Am I the only one who sees this? Or was it just me who found that beneficial? I guess I'm just too old school. 